What's going on guys? So today we're going to be talking about kind of would you destroy your truck for YouTube views, subscribers, and in return money. But um, I think it's a very controversial topic. We're going to be talking about Whistling Diesel, which if you don't know what his truck looks like, I'll put a picture of it here. Um, it is definitely a very controversial channel. Is He gets a lot of hate. And I think some of it maybe is deserved, some of it not. I mean, obviously, he, you know, YouTube is YouTube. You do skits and stuff. You're not necessarily the same person in your videos as you are in real life just because you kind of, and stuff like that, you have to put up a kind of a persona just to make the video more entertaining. But a lot of people are triggered by his videos. And uh, I saw him originally on Instagram. And then obviously, it's a, he's a large, much larger channel than me at this point. Um, He's got like over 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. But obviously it's because of his crazy outlandish outlandish um, content. And that's kind of what caters to YouTube. So before you get into the whole, oh, you could never do this to your truck thing. If you think of it from a business standpoint, YouTube, just like anything else, you want to make more than what you're putting in it. So if you make, the, the whole thing is you got to risk tearing up your truck for the benefit of getting the views which in return turns into money so I think it's one of those kind of crazy things like me just thinking about like this truck right here would I go and let's just say like his current video put four foot or however many wide homemade spacers on it with monster truck tires and bog it through a field and watch it collapse on itself and then still try to drive it like but you could put some sad music over him in that in his most recent video of his truck collapsing on itself and him still trying to drive it and it would be like you know some of the uh like the dog commercials where they got the arms of the angel going and stuff like it would be sad but would you do that so if you kind of have to weigh it how much you're going to make whatever obviously it depends off a video does good if it flops and you just tore up your truck for nothing um, I think at this point in his channel, he doesn't have to worry about it flopping just because he does have a lot of subscribers. But uh, I think even in the beginning, he was kind of doing some of the big monster truck tires on his Instagram before he even started his YouTube channel. But my whole thing today really is just to talk about would you do this to your truck? The last part of his video that I just watched, he was talking about how he likes to have fun with his trucks and stuff. and. He doesn't like when people view them as like humans so whenever they get injured or hurt or they blow up or something it's not like they're dead forever they are something that can be fixed and in that side I can definitely agree with it's not something I would say I'm so easy to be like oh yeah well, I'll just go tear up my truck and then just fix it um, obviously if you have enough income from the videos you make then it's not that big a deal because you can just fix it and then you go on about your day this thing on instagram how he before he kind of blew up from doing like the monster truck wheels or whatever the first video was um he really was not into trucks at all and stuff and so he's kind of in the youtube world of making entertaining con content or outlandish content whatever he's kind of perfect because he didn't necessarily grow up with the love for vehicles and stuff so someone like you or I that have grown up just fully involved with automobiles starting out four-wheelers and stuff going all the way up to cars and trucks now I think we have a lot more attachment to our vehicles than he would because like he said he wasn't really into trucks it was just a transportation thing and he just got it just to have a truck and then he kind of stumbled upon the whole oh I can do this crazy thing and get a lot of views which I'm sure he makes his decent money from this so um, I think that's how he can have that perspective of it's just a truck and it doesn't matter I can fix anything on it as long as I you know have the money to do so so like I said for him to have that perspective and on YouTube doing crazy things which on YouTube that's what's popular and that's what's gonna get you views is doing crazy stuff that other people wouldn't do but they want to see it done so it's his videos are kind of split you're either really cringed out that he's destroying his nice truck, or you're like, it's his truck, I shouldn't care if he's destroying it, and I get to watch it destroyed, so I enjoy it. So that's kind of the two ways to look at it. Personally, I definitely am on his side of, he can do whatever he wants, it's his YouTube, it's just like people that come on my YouTube channel and complain about certain things that I do, or certain mods that have on my truck, which, you know, I sure I sometimes cater doing things towards 
as YouTube for views and whatnot, but at the end of the day, it's my truck and I do what I want because I drive it every day and I get to see it. I want to have stuff on it that I want to have on it. So I definitely see his side of, of that and uh, from a YouTube perspective, I 100% agree with all of his. He, he blocks out, for the most part, I feel he blocks out all the negativity and just does whatever craziness he feels like doing in his truck. One of the first things I saw that went viral on Instagram, which I might not be 100% accurate, but the first thing I saw was he had a hood stack and he shot it with a shotgun and one of the BBs, I guess, ricocheted and hit his windshield. So then he just beat his windshield out and drove around forever without any windshield. And so he's done a lot to the truck, but you know, windshields, ah, that's not that big a deal. You just replace the glass as long as you have a good company, whatever, it's perfect, good as new. Um, however, the most recent one, which I had thought about doing this video for a while, but I was like, eh, I don't know how it would go because I do like doing these little talks while I'm on the way to work. But then again, I don't want to be like necessarily someone that just goes on YouTube and talks about other YouTubers, but I guess there's nothing really wrong with that. I mean, that's kind of half of YouTube people doing that. So, uh, but this most recent one, it was just brutal when he had it in the front act or the front ball joints or whatever snap and it just dropped down and and then he just like throws it in four wheel drive and just tries to go and then the back left one snaps and then he's still trying to drive which obviously he's talking about going get into the mud and stuff obviously that's just part of the video just he's making content but it was brutal like I, I don't know like I guess it just goes back to uh, he doesn't have a very big attachment to vehicles whereas like I said, some of us might. Not that I think he should have a problem with me talking about it or whatever, because it's just more more people hearing about his truck and stuff, which I'm sure if you can get over the cringe of him actually hurting his truck and stuff, hurting, damaging his truck, um, you'll probably really enjoy his content because you get to see stuff destroyed or just outlandishly massive tires on stuff and whatever and not have to worry about it hurting your vehicle. So I'm very curious to see people's opinions on that, whether or not they could actually do it, because I know a lot of y'all like myself, you get a vehicle, you get attached to it, and you put your heart and soul into it. I don't think, I don't know, it's hard. I don't know if I could do that. I mean, obviously I have to think in my mind, you're gonna make the money, you can fix it. But at the same time, it would truly pain me to like actually destroy my truck. And I say destroy a little lightly. You're not really destroying it, but you are damaging certain stuff. Like the front end when he was trying to drive it in four wheel, I could just, ugh, just cringe. Everything just trying to wrap itself up and eating itself and it's just horrible. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much the whole purpose of this video. I just wanted to see, could y'all do it? So let's just base it off of his channel, what you could get. 100,000 subscribers. I don't know how many views he's got. I don't know how much money he's made off of it, but I can, he's, he gets, I've seen several videos of his that are close to a million views. I think he's got one or two that are over a million views. And then he's got some that are down below a hundred thousand. Let's just say you've made a big chunk of money, plenty enough to pay for your truck and plenty more than that. And uh, I'm talking about like buying your truck and doing everything to it. Um, would you be able to damage your truck or just go just abuse the crap out of it? So I'm not gonna ramble on anymore. Y'all definitely leave some feedback. Let me know what you think. Could you do it? So with all that being said, hopefully you did enjoy. Go out, check out his channel. I'll put a link to it in the description. Um, if you see this, I'm 100% I'm on your side. I think you have the right to do whatever you want. And I think you're on to some good stuff with YouTube because you know what's popping and you don't care about your truck. So you can do it. And power to you i watch your videos so uh yeah go over check out his channel and uh yeah i'll see y'all in the next one. Oh my god uh, how could that break <laughs>